Hello everyone, this is William Armstrong back with a video again about sextortion scammers. I'll show you the profile in question that has just decided to do exactly just that. Okay, the profile may have been vanished, but I don't know what happened, but I think the account either blocks me. Yep, the account's gone. So I flagged it as harassment and it got pulled, but let me just edit the screenshot. The, the image has been pulled, but I'll show you what's happened. Okay. Let me just temporarily hide out, but I did flag the Instagram account as harassment and the account's been suspended, but I've got them locked out of their own account. Let me just scroll up and show you exactly what. Let me just delete out some things from here for a little bit. So hang on, give me a second. This is actually what the scammer, the extortion scammer has said. And obviously it's a sextortion scam, as you can see right there. So I've gotten it reported to Instagram for harassment and automatically Instagram to shut down the account. Just now, as soon as I filed a report to Instagram about it, Instagram's gotten quite good at taking down accounts that do harassment, and I did exactly that. But notice that I had to temporarily hide out some stuff. To do that, I know that my Google Voice number is showing in the video. I know it is. I'm okay with my Google Voice number being shown in the video, but... That's about it. So what I'm going to do is show you some more examples of this directly. Here you go. This is exactly what's going on, that this is another sextortion scam that's happened where they basically utilize you to send NSFW photos to them, and then they use this to blackmail it, store it you. Here's an example right there. And the scammers themselves threaten you, threaten you with fake threats, wanting to pay up a large amount of money for it, things like that. So I basically have flagged their account as harassment, and I reported it was they're harassing me, and Instagram took action on it. it they say something about a sick baby that you have to send over $2,500 and things like that. So this is proof that the scammers are added again to sextortion. This isn't the first time it's happened to me. It's happened to other people as well. And there's a teenager that also had, took their own life because of what happened. And Pleasant Green also has done a video about that too recently. They, he just uploaded on YouTube. Things like that. So I'll put a link in the video description so you can see more about the sextortion attempt that has happened that Pleasant Green uploaded a video on where he showed the images of two scammers that are being extradited to the U.S. currently for that. And they were asking me to go to MoneyGram to donate money, but the problem is these scammers are dumb idiots. They don't realize that MoneyGram, you have to do certain things to send money to somebody, but they make a bunch of spelling errors. And they're busy laughing on the mic as they didn't mute their microphone. I didn't record that part, but they were laughing and giggling at their microphone, thinking it was funny to do that, which gave away that they were African because they weren't speaking any English whatsoever. And what I'm going to do is try to cover up some stuff, but let me just temporarily try a way to hide. Well, this person's name is supposedly Samantha, but not going to reveal the last name. Not revealing first name. It's a surname, Samantha, but it says name, a certain name I don't want to reveal privacy policy on YouTube. The country is Cote d'Ivoire in Abidjan, which is in Africa. So they gave away where they were. And the scammers themselves have made spelling errors, as you can see. I'm recording this on my laptop, the video, but you can see directly. I'm sorry if the screen brightness is a little too high. Let me lower it down some, but once again, this goes to show you the great links to why scammers are not very bright. So here you go. This is what it is. So basically the scammers themselves, it looks backwards because it's reflecting on camera, but 
it says here, for the moment you think this is all story and game, so you can imagine all the problems that this this video can cause. If you're still here because it's you know that you're well said, this video can have repercussions in your life. That's why you continue to cooperate. So you better stay calm and do everything I ask you. The money is not as important as you think. There is also your reputation, also the worries you may will you may have because of this video. So I will no longer tolerate any unwanted message from you because I will react severely without warning you. I don't want you to do anything mean. I don't want to do anything mean to you, so respect your word. I respect mine. Otherwise, everyone does what they want, and we'll see which of us will be in trouble. So it looks like Instagram got the upper hand on this one because they flagged this harassment. And this is what happens. Instagram took down the account after I reported for harassment, but here you go. That basically they're making fake threat to the bogus and don't make any sense. They make up some kind of BS law or something, make up a bunch of random stuff just to get to give people to give in. And this is where the, another kicker is. It says here, a severe fine of 75,000 euro for 25 years in prison. The scammers are making up this stuff that is not legit. And I've decided to go ahead and mess with them and really pull their strings and get them to lose their minds. And this is what they end up saying that all this stuff right here that I'm scrolling. So that's kind of the reason why I think that Instagram, Meta, and all these social media companies should stop scammers from extorting people out of money because of stuff like that. And this is exactly what's going on. So I basically tricked them and basically they're talking about a sick baby, which is very weird. And the Instagram account has since been long gone after reported for harassment, but there's no, t no there's no telling when more scams like that will happen, and there is no telling when more scammers like those pieces of shit idiots that just decided to message or decided to follow me on Instagram, even though I have my Instagram set to private. I hit delete on their profile that sent me a request. So I tapped delete. And they did it again and tap delete. So I kept tapping the delete button on them to stop them. And they fortunately lose their minds, but they're African because they have they weren't speaking any English. They were laughing. I didn't record I couldn't I didn't record that part because they were only giggling and laughing for a short while. But they were deliberately doing that. So I was able to tell that they were African because of the way they were giggling and he 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 and talking and a language I couldn't understand. So that gave away that they're in Africa, though. So other than that, once again, be careful who you talk to on social media. And if the account looks like a pretty, if the account looks like a pretty good looking woman, then it probably is fake. Because most of the time, scammers that are male tend to pretend to be a woman on social media to lure men into sending NSOW photos to them. And that's where it kind of lands things into an embarrassing situation for the victim and the scammers. But for it's mostly for the victim that's an embarrassing situation. The scammers themselves are trying to pull to catch a predator when that's a very stupid way of them doing it. They don't threaten to go to the, they don't really make threats about taking you to the police for it. They just want you to pay money for a sick baby somewhere. I don't know. It's a made-up story that they use to get you to give money in. They make up a fake sob story just for you to throw money at them, and they take it and run. I didn't do that. That didn't, first time I've had that happen. But other than that, this is William Armstrong signing out. And be careful who you talk to on social media, and don't accept friend requests or follow requests from people you don't know if your Instagram is set to private. If your Facebook is locked down, lock it down and keep it that way. That will keep the scammers out, but they will still message you. They can't do anything more if your account is locked down heavily tight. Goodbye.